look like an actual piece of shit. And that's because I spent the day in the emergency room. Um, okay, so last night I got home at 2 a.m. after working on my paper at the school and all of a sudden like my side and stomach was hurting so bad and I was like, okay, like I'm just gonna try and sleep this off. So I tried to sleep and I couldn't, it just got worse and worse throughout the night. And around 7.30, I called my aunt from back home and I was crying and it's never been in so much pain in my life. Like it hurt more than when I broke my foot and I thought that was bad pain. And she just kept telling me to go to the hospital because she thought it was probably an appendicitis. So I asked my friend Holly, cause she was the only one awake. Um, she would come get me and take me to the hospital and she did. So then we went and I went to talk to the triage nurse and then she looked pretty worried and she asked me my pain scale and I said 10 out of 10 and then I registered and by the time I registered they already called me in and then I went to the back room or not the back room but like one of the rooms in the back um waiting rooms or I don't really know waiting for the doctor rooms and I had to change into one of like the hospital gowns and then I came back and then a nurse came and checked my vital signs and checked to see like where it was hurting and it hurt a lot when she touched it. Um, so then eventually the doctor came and he was like, okay, like what's going on? And I told him and then he checked it too and it hurt a lot and she just kept telling me to breathe because every time I am in pain I just hold my breath. I've done that since I was little and it's just a really bad coping mechanism <laughs> but that happened I was in a lot of pain so he's like I'm gonna give you this medicine. I forget it started with the tea. It wasn't that Tylenol. I just assumed it was in pill form. Um, so this other nurse came Thank God my friend Holly was there with me the whole time because like I don't do hospitals like I would like I don't go for any reason so like it was pretty bad that I was there um so yeah I went or the nurse came in and she's like okay I'm here to give you your IV and I was like uh IV what she's like is your name Brooklyn well she said walked in she's like are you Brooklyn I said yes then she's like, I'm here to give you your IV. And I was like to my friend, I'm not broken. <laughs> but yeah, I don't do needles. I just don't like them. Um, so she gave me my IV um, and she's explaining why I need it. She's like, because like, we're gonna have to administer like drugs into you. So it's just easier if we have like the vein open now and we can just put in your IV. So they were assuming I was gonna be there that I was going to be admitted because everyone thought it was an appendicitis. Um, so I was like, okay. So then they gave me the drugs and I did make it stop hurting rather quickly. But the nurse thought me and Holly were hilarious because like when they were giving me the, um, it was right here. You can still see the tape marks because I have yet to shower. Um, but I literally was like this, like laying on the wall because I don't do needles um and Holly was laughing because I was being a little dramatic but I really hate it and it hurts a lot to get um like the IV poured in I don't know I have really like sensitive skin I bruise easily so that's not good I swear I'm gonna have bruises all over my body from when the doctor was like checking to see where it hurt because he pushed down really hard and I was like listen if it didn't hurt before which it did it hurts now so they gave me the pain thing and they put something else in the IV. Um, I don't know what it was. I probably should have questioned, but I was in a lot of pain waiting for it to stop hurting. And then eventually it stopped hurting and then I had to get blood work done because I needed to check my blood levels to see if it was an appendicitis. And they checked that. And then they moved me into the hallway because they ran out of beds because a lot of people were at the emergency room that day. And they just assumed I was going to be admitted because everyone was preparing for me to have my appendix removed since like the time I got in there. Like I didn't have to wait um, 
in the emergency room it was just like go 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 especially because I didn't sleep the night before and I told them that um because I couldn't I literally was up all night and then I finally fell asleep while we were in the hallway Holly left and my roommate Keisha came to like stay with me and make sure I was okay plus she's a nursing so she can question things I just accept what they did to me um so she came, we were in the hallway, I finally fell asleep, and then the doctor comes with this clipboard and like hits it, like gently, but to wake me up on the bed, and I startle easily, and I was like, oh, and he's like, so it's not your appendix, and I was like, okay, then what is it? And he said, um, we're not really sure what it is, um, we'll book you in for an ultrasound sometime in the next couple of weeks. Which was weird because when I first went in, he's like, as soon as you get blood work done, like, you get an ultrasound. But the blood work, like, my, I forget whatever blood cell count is fine. Um, like, it wasn't off. So he's like, all your blood work came back fine. Like, you're healthy, your liver is good. So that he's like, it could be your gallbladder, but we don't really know because your gallbladder is affected by your liver and my liver is, like, in perfect condition. So, thank God. My um, rebellious alcoholic days did not kill my liver. I'm joking. But yeah, so they didn't really know what it was. But he's like, you can go home if the pain happens again. Um, if it's 10 out of 10, because they called me 10 out of 10 pain girl, because it hurt a lot. Um, I'm going to come back right away. And if I have any pain that lasts over four hours, I'm going to come back because maybe it is my appendix or they don't really know. So yeah that uh happened and then i came home and i slept all day and my friends came to visit and i didn't go to work which was the first time i took an actual full sick day um i also went on a liquid diet for um today and tomorrow and then i'm on a bland diet because i still don't know what's wrong and yeah ever want to eat again. I still have yet to really eat. Uh, Keisha tried to make me eat chicken noodle soup, but I felt super nauseous, so I didn't eat. I was really dizzy, but I'm fine now, and I don't know if this is side effects from whatever pills or medicine they injected into me, or what. So, yeah, sorry this was just like a story time vlogmas episode, but I hope you guys understand and I'll see you soon. Hopefully the vlogs get better. Bye.